It is a rather sad day for Five Nights at Freddy's collectors, as it has been revealed that Funko has indeed lost the master license for Five Nights at Freddy's merchandise. They will not be producing their articulated figures or their soft toys anymore. Nothing like that. The only thing that Funko is seemingly going to continue to produce is their Funko Pops and Mystery Minis, with the master license going directly to Jazzwares at the end of the year. And I'm openly excited to see what Jazzwares is going to do with the Five Nights at Freddy's merch license, but I am still rather sad that Funko is no longer going to be a huge part of that picture. Now, at this early stage of Funko having the Five Nights at Freddy's license, I know there were other companies producing stuff as well. You had BioWorld, and I bought a bunch of their novelty baseball caps, and I have their drinking cups and tumblers, and then you had Just Toys with their Danglers line. Now, no matter what anybody says about the Danglers, you got to admit the first two lines were awesome until they started to get really, really bad. And even though there were various other merch companies that varied in quality, I always found myself gravitating towards Funko. Something about Funko's merch was special compared to all of these half-assed merch companies. And I liked them. The sculpts and the detail on their action figures were great, almost video game accurate. And then I really liked the stylized design of their Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pops. So it comes as no surprise that throughout the many years that I've been collecting Five Nights at Freddy's merch, it is always Funko that I gravitate towards. And it's really sad, again, to see Funko not have the license to make whatever their heart desires, but I'm open to see what Jazzwares Toys will do with the license, see how they'll further expand and improve upon what Funko did, and see them produce figures that people want, like the toy animatronics, the Phantoms, and of course, the Withers. Now, I myself am on the same boat of wanting the toy animatronics, the Withered animatronics, and of course, the Phantoms. But I don't think we'll get those right away, since this is going to be Jazzwares' first dive into the Five Nights at Freddy's license. My guess, the first lineup will probably be characters from the first game. This will include all five members of the Fazbear Band, Golden Freddy included. And if they're going to be doing their waves of figures in the same realm as the way the game's released, we could probably assume that the wave after the original game will be Five Nights at Freddy's 2, in which we'll get the toy animatronics and the withers, and then after that we'll get the phantoms, or at least that's how I'd hope that they would release the figures. Now, when it comes to my personal opinion on characters I would love to see in this new toy line, personally, I would love to see Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare, because these characters never made it into the plush line, and they never made it into the figure line. They had a little bit of representation within the mystery mini line, but it wasn't too notable. I would also love to see a more video game accurate version of Montgomery Gator, and I would love to see an articulated Mangle figure. As Funko never made Funko Pops or articulated figures for that specific character, and the merch that they did release for Mangle was pretty lackluster. I think they released a really bad soft toy, a novelty pen with Mangle's head on top of it. They released a figure of Nightmare Mangle in their Funko Hero World line, and many other really lackluster products.
And I guess I would also ask for a new Foxy sculpt and mold because I do like Funko's Foxy articulated figure, but that figure has not aged well. The joints in mine are super loose. The hook on my original Foxy kept on falling off to the point where it's just lost now. I don't know where it is. So it'd be really nice to have a brand new Foxy. Now, if by any chance you don't know who Jazzwares is, let me tell you. Jazzwares is a company that first started making toys all the way back in December of 2013. And they make toys for various franchises, such as Sonic the Hedgehog, the Super Mario Brothers, Minecraft, WWE Wrestling, Pokemon, and so much more. I mean, these folks created the Squishmallows, some of the most popular soft toys out there. So I think we're in good hands when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's. And I guess the only thing I can tell you to do now is probably go and grab the Security Breach Ruin figures and plushies along with the Five Nights at Freddy's 10 year anniversary stuff. Because once that stuff's gone, it's probably going to be marked up by scalpers on Amazon and eBay, places like that. But with that being said, this looks like it's going to be a dawn of a new era for Five Nights at Freddy's merch. Either for the better or for the worse. I hope it's for the latter. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.